Highness, the great king, son of Ra, beloved of Amun, has gone to Osiris. Your father is dead? These are my commands, the commands of the queen, the great king's wife, his beloved, mistress of the two lands, living and flourishing Nefertiti. Egypt lies at the mercy of a madman, dear to you, dear to me, dear to us all, but a madman still. The young prince is sickly. If we are not careful, soon the land will starve and decay. Amun must be restored to his full glory. My lord, do not fail me. Without you, I must surely fail. I do not. I serve one, I serve the king. The king first and forever. My life is his. I would lay it down for him. I know men. I know the bitterness of truth. I know that behind the courteous word, there lies the cunning of the serpent and the ferocity of the tiger. Although you are the king, you are only one man. It is Egypt that matters, my country! For years I have been smothered with words. It is deeds, not words. That is what is needed. Are you with us in this matter? Come, my lord, the fate of Egypt is at stake. You are the thing itself. What thing? Beauty. <laughs> no, the beauty is in your eyes, in your mind, in your heart. I was so young then, so full of hope. Life seemed so easy, the way so clear to bring love and peace to my people. Living and flourishing forever and ever!